Hi guys, this is Pete. How are you guys going? Hey gang, uh, I just wanted to give you another look at my modest little solar setup here that we have on the back deck of the house. Now, uh, I have shown you guys this before, but I have made some changes to it recently. Now, uh, Tracy and I spend a lot of time on the back deck and uh, we just decided to make at least a portion of our house self-sufficient. Does it save us any money? Probably five tenths of fuck all, who knows? But, I want to give you a look firstly at uh, the things that we can keep charged. Uh, with this little solar setup and also uh, the type of inverters and batteries and whatnot that we're using. Alright, so let's start with the solar panels out in the backyard. So I'm just going to give you a look now. These are very, very modest indeed. Have a little look there. That is actually just a 160 watt uh, camping solar panel. Not getting a lot of sun at the moment because it's early morning here, but they do get full sun from about, oh, about 9 30, 10 o'clock onwards, right through till half past five in the afternoon. Now believe it or not, that's all the power we need to run the back deck. Now just let me give you a look at what we can charge uh, and what we use the power for. So firstly, obviously we keep our phones charged. We have a, uh, a various assortment of, uh, of power banks. I'll talk to you about those in a minute. I also always keep at least a dozen rechargeable double O batteries charged couple more power banks here we keep those charged this power bank here is quite interesting uh, I actually bought this as a skin as a power bank skin and then I populated it with some recovered laptop batteries and it works an absolute treat and that will actually charge an iPhone three or four times and charge an iPad about one and a half times <clears throat> uh, keep all my cordless drills and everything charged uh, and you can see the charging setup that I use is a little bit different. You can see that we're actually charging a power bank there right now. And uh, from the battery box, just out of the 12 volt socket, I have a uh, USB adapter there and uh, I, I, I've actually switched that. Um, I just like to have switches on everything. So that's how we charge all our power banks and our 5 volt devices. That's the, uh, the battery box that I use. That's just one from Super Cheap Auto. I'm going to talk about the battery in a minute. That's just a little charge, uh, charge controller rather that we have on the wall there. Pretty basic bit of kit, but works an absolute treat. Now we also run various lights uh, from this 12 volt setup. Lights there, lights there. Got another one over here, over the table. We also keep our laptops charged. And um, one thing I didn't mention, our e-cigarettes. <laughs> So basically we can keep everything charged. I want to give you a look at this little power bank here too. This is actually a fairly interesting bit of kit. This is called a Mobro Instant Emergency Charger. Now this actually has four AA batteries in it. And uh, of course I put rechargeables in it. And you can use it as an emergency charger for USB devices. But we actually just use it to, uh, to run this LED light here when we're out camping. And it'll run that light all weekend. So... Uh, yeah, not a bad little bit of kit. I actually bought that in a throwaway bin for $2. Yeah. <laughs> we even managed to stay cool, all compliments of our 12 volt solar. Now, these electric fans uh, only draw about 40 watts, so you can easily run them on a, uh, on a 300 watt inverter. We even run this small TV and uh, this stereo here, uh, all from the solar power. Now, this TV <coughs> draws about 90 watts, I believe, and uh, this stereo system here draws about 40 watts. And uh, that little stereo, that's only a Kmart stereo, it is surprisingly loud, believe it or not. So there you go, we've even got all your entertainment needs sorted out, all on solar. You fucking ha. <laughs> Righto, so, now the battery that I'm using. For 12 months, I ran this whole system on this little... 40 amp hour Kmart car battery and uh, it served the it served the purpose admirably it was uh, said 40 amp hour and it was $68 brand new when I bought that battery and it used to run this whole deck for about four hours after the Sun went down so not bad um, but I recently upgraded to one of these big bad boys here and let me tell you this is the absolute bomb now uh, I got these from uh, I got this battery rather from Aussie solar up on the Sunshine Coast and I'll I'll put a link uh, to them uh, down here in the description now that's a 130 amp hour deep cycle gel cell battery 
and let me tell you, it has just made a huge difference. We never run out of battery power out here on the deck now. It'll go all night and all day. It just it never stops. So provided it gets three or four hours of sun a day, perfect. And that'll even uh, that'll even run our full size fridge in the kitchen in an emergency situation where we lost power. Uh, now just let me quickly talk to you about this inverter. A lot of you will probably laugh at this, but uh, it's just a little 300 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter, 300 watt constant, 600 watt spike. Now well, I got that from Crazy Sales, I think, and it was about 150 bucks. I just want to talk to you guys about pure sine wave versus modified sine wave. I would encourage you not to buy the cheap modified sine wave inverters. They will absolutely kill your electronic equipment, let me tell you. And uh, I know because that's what I was using initially and I ended up blowing up uh, two laptop chargers. Pay the money and get the pure sine wave inverters. They're a much cleaner form of power and um, you can run all your electronic devices safely with them. Righto, so that's it. That's the whole back deck. 160 watts of solar. 300 watts of inverter, 130 amp hour battery. Yeah, you are. <laughs> We're living the dream. Like I said, are we saving any money? Probably not, but who gives a fuck? I just did it because I wanted to do it and because we can. Um, I'll just quickly once again just point out these, uh, these skins. So these are called a battery bank skin. Just search that on eBay. They're only about four bucks. And if you've got access to some old laptop batteries that you can pull apart, uh, then uh, you can then populate these packs and away they go. This pack here uh, is actually exactly the same. It was just a skin. I think it was $2.30 US. And that's got four uh, laptop batteries in it, which are the 18650s. This one's got eight laptop batteries, 18650s. All right. The whole setup, I get asked this a lot. What did it cost? Okay, I reckon I've got... Hmm, probably maybe 650, 700 bucks invested in it in total. Stupid? Oh, well, I don't know. But we do it because we can. And the great thing is, is that, uh, you know, in the event that we do have a blackout, at least we can keep the beer cold in the fridge, we can keep our laptops going, we can keep the lights on. Hey? <laughs> Living the dream. All right, guys. Love you. See you next time. Hope you enjoyed that. Drop a comment if you've got any questions. See you guys.